Oh, pull out those dancing shoes. The hit phenomenon is back, and this time Dancing with the Stars fan favorites are returning to the stage for another chance at victory. Fresh on the heels of a big Emmy win, Tom Bergeron talks to ABC's David Wright about the star-studded lineup. Welcome to Dancing with the Stars, the All-Stars. Tonight, the host of America's favorite ballroom show has a new dance partner himself. The winged woman on that Emmy statuette Tom Bergeron took home last night. Thank you. An award Bergeron won for making Dancing with the Stars as smooth as all those dance moves. A celebrity ballroom competition? I mean, really, when I was first pitched the show, I thought this can't work. This is a bunch of people coming out of their comfort zone almost as a lark. On live TV, the unexpected can and does happen, like Kirstie Alley tonight, planting a big wet kiss right on the lips. Bergeron handled it with style. That's for your Emmy! Thank you. A few seasons back, Marie Osmond hit the stage of the samba. <laughs> right after her samba. That was the most dramatic of the things. Usually it's somebody popping out of a dress or, or and I'm always happy to help them back in. <laughs> there they are! Tonight on the season opener, a bit of deja vu. Back in the ballroom again, former boy bander Joey Fatone, singer and actress Sabrina Bryan, and Bristol Palin, whose mom was in the audience tonight. And Pamela Anderson, who, by the way, had vowed to stay celibate. <laughs> During her run, I guess she thought it would give her a competitive edge, and so I happened to see her yesterday in the hall, and over her shoulder, with her back to me, she went, I'm already off the wagon. <laughs> also back, some of the show's toughest competitors over the years. We've got our first four champions. We've got uh, Kelly Monaco, Drew Lachey, Emmett Smith, and Apollo and additional champions of Elio and, and Sean Johnson. Sean Johnson was the Olympic gold medalist who triumphed in season eight. The Dancing with the Stars All-Stars features a rematch of sorts. We have one, two, and three of my season and that that's intimidating because it's almost like since I won, they're like out to get me. <laughs> Actor Gilles Marini, who came in second. Everybody tell me, oh, you're the front runner. I'm like, people, six of them won. I didn't. Why are you calling me the front runner? I, I'm clearly not. Also, the third place finisher from season eight, former Dallas Cowgirl Melissa Rycroft. It seems like last time around was at a particularly tough time in your life. Not a highlight. Not a highlight. <laughs> last time around, she appeared on Dancing with the Stars right after she'd been proposed to on The Bachelor. Will you marry me? Only to be famously dumped by her new fiance on After the Final Rose. To me, getting engaged and finding that person was a one, once in a lifetime thing, and you took that from me. Season eight, I was coming off of a, you know, pretty humiliating time in my life. This time, you're yeah. in a much better place. I am. I feel like a completely different person in the ballroom. This time around, all of the stars face new challenges. They've faced ups and downs. Some haven't been dancing in quite a while. Each of them knows that this particular mirror ball trophy, there's a certain status among fans of the show for coming into a, uh, a season of all stars and walking away with that one. For all of these stars, the pressure is on. And having done it before, they know what they're in for. My daughter is asking me every day when I'm coming back with a trophy. She may get her wish or not. After tonight, He's running a very close second place. Thank you, Nightline. This is really awesome. <laughs> I'm David Wright for Nightline in Hollywood.